Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and on this episode, we're getting ready to make the best, the easiest strawberry shortcake with made from scratch, homemade whipped cream. And it's easy. The whole dish is so easy. You can even have your kids make it. And guess what? Father's Day is here. You can have the kids make it for dad. You can make it for husband. It will be great for breakfast, brunch, or dessert. Oh my goodness, it is amazingly delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, we are back. All the ingredients will be in the description, so make sure you come back and check it out. I am using frozen strawberries. You can by far use fresh, but right now, fresh is astronomically priced. So I found that frozen are a little bit cheaper. Plus, I can keep them on hand. We're also using refrigerated biscuits. You can make your own from scratch. I got a few recipes of homemade scratch biscuits, so feel free to make your own as well. But we said this was quick, simple, and easy. You're going to need some heavy whipping cream, which I don't have out here because I forgot it. So we'll get that in a minute. For our whipped cream, you're going to need some sugar and a little lemon. That's it. Just a few ingredients, guys, and you're going to whip this up quick and in a hurry. So let's go ahead and get our mm, strawberry shortcake made. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees because we are, are going to make sure we cook our biscuits first so that they'll be done. And while they're baking, which only takes about 15 minutes, depending on your oven, while they are baking, we can get our strawberries all dressed up and our whipped topping made as well. Let's see if I can go ahead and open this can up. All right. Now this is just a small can of five biscuits and I am only actually going to make one complete uh, strawberry shortcake today. So I'll be using the other biscuits for something else, probably like a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. I don't know yet. Okay, sit that can aside. You're going to need some sugar in a flat dish. And we're just going to take the biscuit that we're going to use, and we're going to put sugar on top of it and along the sides of it. Not a lot, just put it in there and make sure the sides are well coated and the top of the biscuit is well coated. Then we're gonna sit these in here and it's easier. You'll find that the instructions will say preheat your oven to 350 degrees and put your uh, biscuits on a baking tray, but it's much easier if you preheat it to 325 degrees and make sure that your biscuits are touching um, as they bake. That way, when they touch, the sides of the biscuits help them rise. So I am actually putting the one I am using directly in the center so that the other four can help them rise. This is the one I'm going to actually make the strawberry shortcake out of. Now you can do all of them, but I'm only doing one today. Okay, I'm going to pop these in the oven and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have already taken some of my frozen strawberries and uh, I actually uh, let them thaw out a little bit and then I sliced them up. They're still relatively cold, so as you can see, they're kind of stuck together, but they break off real easy. And as you can see, it's just a simple slice, nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all. And I don't want to break these up, so I'm going to kind of separate them a little bit. And what we're going to do now is just sprinkle some sugar on them and just a tad bit of lemon juice and let them macerate in there. Just let them hang out. Let them hang out in that uh, sugar and make a nice little syrup for our strawberry shortcake. Now, the amount of sugar that you put on, I will have the instructions for um, five actual strawberry shortcakes in the description. So you can Adjust your sugar content if you're only making one or two like I'm doing, but the recipe will be for five. So you just want to coat them in the sugar and then take just a tad bit of lemon juice and squeeze it through there. You don't need much. 
and then go ahead and mix this up and set it aside. Next, we're going to go ahead and make our whipped topping. Okay, we are back and our biscuit is done. Here it is, nice and golden brown. That's just what you want it to be. First thing you want to do is go ahead and split it in half. Make sure you split it right down the middle. Okay. And from there, now we're going to make our whipped topping right quick. Only takes a second. And if you do not have a food processor, you can easily do this in the blender as well. This is our heavy cream we're going in. Don't forget to check the description down below for all of the ingredients. Okay, now we're just going to pulse this a couple of times first. Make sure it's fastened. After we pulse it a couple of times, we're going to go in with a shake or two of cream of tartar. That stabilizes your topping. And at this point, if you're going to add some sugar in, you can go ahead and add it in at this point for your topping. Again, that should be to your taste because some people like things really sweet and others don't. Go ahead and now you want to just pulse it for maybe about, oh, a minute and on high until it uh, settles and forms and becomes pretty stiff. Okay, I'm going to go in and check it at this point. And you may need to move it from around the sides, which I do, and it's almost ready. Takes a little bit more than a minute in my food processor, or maybe it's just the amount that I have. So I'm going to run it one more time. Okay, we should be good. Yes, it is nice and fluffy and creamy. And I'm going to set this aside. We're going to bring our plate up here right quick. And I've got stuff all over the place. Now you want to layer it up. So I'm going to start with the topping, whipped topping on the very bottom. And as you can see, it is nice and stiff and creamy, not falling off. See? Stiff peaks, it doesn't fall off. Put that on the bottom there. Spread it around to your liking. A little bit more. Now from here, you're going to go in with your strawberries. I'm going to use this spoon. And you just want to layer those on top as well. And as you can see, it made a nice syrup, and that's what you want. That's exactly what you want. Make sure you have some all over. Okay, that one fell off, put that one back up there. Then you want to go in with your top bun and more whipped topping on the top. And actually, you can pretty much layer it any way that you like for it to be layered. Take this top off as well. A little bit more right up top. And then I reserve one whole one to garnish the very top with. And I'm going to bring you guys up closer in just one moment so that you guys can take a really good look. Put this up top here, just like that. Garnish the side with a little greenery. Okay, let me bring you guys up close. Okay guys, we are all done. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness. And like I said, it's easy enough for the kids to make. 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is absolutely delicious. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it out. Let everybody you know what Pam over here at Cooking at Pam's Place is doing. Making easy made from scratch dishes that you can make in your kitchen too. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs>